Welcome back, Tiger Sports fans, to the first episode of Tiger Sports Nation of the fall 2021 season. It is so great to be back in the studio, and we now have a full slate of sports again. I'm Taylor Richardson. And I'm Joey Webster. Fall sports are back in action as the campus slowly returns back to normalcy. And we have a lot to cover, including an interview with former DePaul head football coach, Bill Lynch. But for now, let's get right into the recap of last week's sports. To start things off, the men's soccer team got off to an undefeated start to their season as they picked up three convincing wins against Anderson, Mount St. Joseph, and Manchester. In the first match against Anderson, DePaul jumped out to an early two-goal lead in the first half with Sam Thiel and Joel Tompkins scoring. In the final 45 minutes, the Tigers poured it on, scoring four goals and notching a 6-0 shutout win. Joel, Joel Tompkins and Ben Widener both scored in the second half along with two second-half goals by Chase Breger. On Friday, the men's soccer team defeated Mount St. Joseph 3-0 with all three goals coming within five minutes of each other in the first half. Sam Thiel got to paw on the board with a goal in the 18th minute, and then Joel Tompkins and Ben Widener added two more just a few minutes later to put the game out of reach. To close out the week, the Tigers thrashed the Manchester Spartans by a score of 5 0. Zach Napora scored his first goal of the season in the 15th minute of the first half, and Jacob Fowler added another in the 27th minute to make it 2 0 at halftime. DePaul tallied three more goals in the second half to make it a 5 0 win to conclude their undefeated week. The women's volleyball team also got off to a 3 0 start to their season. And in the first half of the match, the Tigers swept Franklin 3-0 in their victory to start things off. DePaul fought back from a 13-6 deficit in the first set, coming back to win 25-23, and then went on to win the next two sets. Elise Monroe had 8 of the Tigers' 28 kills, and Grace Philburn had 8 of the Tigers' 24 assists in the next match. The Black and Gold defeated Anderson and Defiance over the weekend with scores of 3-2 and 3-1. DePaul battled back from two sets down to beat Anderson the next three, including the fifth set with a score of 15-7. The Tigers then followed up that match with another comeback win over Defiance. After losing the first set 15-25, DePaul rattled off three straight set wins to finish the weekend undefeated. Sarah Hillman led the Tigers with 10 kills, and Grace Filburn had 23 assists in the win over Defiance. And the men's and women's cross-country teams both kicked off their season with strong performances at the Grizzly Invitational. The men's cross-country team finished first out of 10 teams, with seven runners finishing the top 22. Leading the Tigers was Bailey Scott, Ford Baker finishing fourth and fifth, respectively. Close behind was Zane Williams finishing seventh. Rounding out the top seven finishers were Hudson Alden, Michael Okasik, and Max Carroll. The women's cross-country team finished second out of 11 teams, scoring 53 points overall. DePaul had seven runners in the top 21, including Emma Jacobs and Meredith Serpina, finishing in the top 10. Kendall Mann, Rachel Delancey, and Lena Allen were the next trio of runners, finishing 11th, 12th, and 13th. Bryn Urban and Sophie Porter rounded out the top seven finishers, helping the Tigers finish their first meet strong. Before we get into the rest of the sporting events this past week, the DePaul, the, the DePaul football team is opening their season with a tough matchup against Division I Butler Bulldogs on Saturday. I got to catch up with former DePaul head coach Bill Lynch, who played and coached for Butler before he came to Greencastle. I talked with him about his time coaching for both schools and what he enjoyed most about being on both football programs. Uh, I had the opportunity to go to Butler and play both football and basketball. And that was one of the big things uh, at that point. I, I wanted to play both sports if I could, and uh, they allowed me to do that. So uh, I had a great experience at Butler and, and uh, playing both sports and uh, in a fraternity. And, and uh, at that time, Butler was very similar in size to DePaul. I think uh, Butler probably was 2,200 students uh, when I was there. And obviously a private liberal arts type university, uh, being in Indianapolis, a little different in Greencastle, but not much. And uh, so it was a, a great experience as a, as a student um, and as an athlete. And then uh, when it came, to, I, I graduated, I was, I was uh, had done my student teaching and I wanted to get into, really I was gonna be a high school uh, teacher and, and coach and I was about ready to sign a contract. Uh, the summer after I graduated and 
And uh, the head football coach at the time, uh, a man named Bill Sylvester, uh, he hired me. He wanted me to stay at Butler and be an assistant football coach. I won a good game, but I got loyalty to the DePaul guys. I mean, I, you know, <laughs> 10 years from now, uh, you know, if they're still playing each other, much different than now because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, yeah. not, not, you know, the recruiting of the guys, but the, the older guys had a chance to coach. So um, I'm rooting like heck for them. I, I want them to have a great season. And, and the three games they did get to play uh, earlier this year, um, you know, I think that that gave Coach Dietz and his staff a chance to, you know, work through game conditions. And and uh, so I'm sure they're going to be ready, you know, come the start of the season. Thank you, Coach Lynch, for catching up with us. And the football team's game starts at 6 p.m. Saturday at Butler. Women's golf finished fourth out of nine teams at the Transylvania Fall Invitational. DePaul shot a 961 with Sidney Weiner leading the way with a 225 including a school record 67 in the first round. Paige Sanfilippo followed with a 243 to tie for 16th, and Kaylin Lestock tied for 21st at 248. Nina Schaefer followed at 251, and Hanako Gertz with a 256. Playing as individuals, Kathleen Amos shot a 245, and Lily Fuchs 257. The men's golf team finished 12th out of 20 teams in the Transylvania Invitational with a score of 897. James Gilmore paced the Tigers with a 2.23 to tie for 37th, while Danny Paris was tied for 44th with a 2.24. Maldalo Loring Campus followed at 2.25 with Cooper Benedict next with a 2.27, and Brooks Coates rounding out the lineup with a 2.33. Women's soccer lost their first two matches to Hope and Kalamazoo this past week. In the first game against Hope, DePaul's Abby Morris scored the first goal in the 15th minute, but Hope would later tie the game up at one before halftime. The Flying Dutch ripped off three goals in the second half to win the game 4-1. The Tigers then lost a close overtime match to Kalamazoo, with the winning goal coming from Destiny Garcia to win the game 1-0. And lastly, the women's field hockey team came up short in their two matches this past week. In the first match against Earlham, the Tigers took an early lead in the first period with a goal from Allison Quackenbush, but the Tigers couldn't hold on to the lead and gave up two goals in the second period and ended up losing 2-1. to one. DePaul later had another 2-1 loss to Rhodes as their comeback efforts fell short and the team fell to 0-2. That will do it for this episode of Tiger Sports Nation. We will be here at the same time next week and for the rest of the semester. Be sure to follow D3TV on all our social media platforms and leave a like and share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. I'm Joey Webster. And I'm Taylor Richardson. And as always, Roll Roll Tigs. Tigs.